Game two of the Stanley Cup Finals is in the books in the Florida Panthers. I took it four to one. Now looking at this game and how it really broke down, the Panthers stepped up defensively. They were able to limit the Edmonton Oilers' ability to get those shots on Bobrovsky. Edmonton did open up the scoring. They got that goal in the first period actually on their first shot on goal. We saw the Florida Panthers answer back in the second, but that third period, the Florida Panthers just overwhelmed the Edmonton Oilers. We saw a goal on the power play. We saw Rodriguez score two goals and we did see an empty netter. Florida's a better team. We knew this going into this series. I did take them to win the Stanley Cup. I also took this series to go to 6-0. And I'm a little nervous about this. We look at those trends against Edmonton going back 0-2. And this is a scary situation for this team, especially if you have them to win the Stanley Cup. Teams that are up 2-0 in a seven-game playoff series in the NHL over the last four years. We've seen that team that has been up 2-0 to zero win 21 of 25 of those. So if you're riding the Florida Panthers for the series to hoist that Stanley Cup, it's probably a good feeling right now. But if you're holding a ticket for the Edmonton Oilers, definitely a sinking feeling in your stomach. Game three, Edmonton has to bring it all. I do think Connor McDavid has to step up. Leon Dreisaitl has to step up. And the difference maker here could be Barkov. They hit Leon Dreisaitl, put on Barkov, which took him off the ice. Barkov is a phenomenal two-way player. Without him on the ice for the Florida Panthers, this is going to be a huge loss for them. I don't know yet if he will be on or off the ice, but time will tell what is going to happen with Barkov. Hopefully he's okay. I'm praying he's okay for himself more than for this team, but he is vital to the team. You guys, stay tuned to Sports Grid for all of my bets in Game 3. That game is on Thursday. This game just finished. It's going to be a hot minute, but can hardly wait.